So in this video today, I'm going to be showing you guys step by step exactly how you can live rent free or mortgage free by leveraging Airbnb. Now the reason why you might care about this is because in most cases, the biggest monthly expense people are incurring is their monthly housing payment, whether it be their mortgage or whatever they're paying for rent. And if you can effectively eliminate the biggest expense in your life, well, that's going to free up a lot of money for you that could potentially allow you to direct that money elsewhere for your savings or just not have to worry about this really large payment um, that often burdens so many people. So just how much are people spending on their mortgage or for their rent? Well, according to the balance, the average mortgage payment is $1,030 per month. And if you're somebody who is renting, well, your rent is probably closer to $1,200 to $1,500 per month as it is more expensive to rent than it is to own a place. So I'm gonna be showing you guys how people are using Airbnb as a way to offset their housing payment or to eliminate their housing payment entirely. And if you guys are curious just how much money you could potentially earn with Airbnb, I'm going to provide a link down in the description below to an Airbnb calculator. All you have to do is enter some basic information like what type of property you have, what your location is, how many guests would be able to stay at your place, and they will give you an idea of just how much side income you could potentially make by listing your space on Airbnb. So that is going to be the top link down in the description below if you guys are curious. Not only that, we're going to jump into my computer later on in this video and analyze a couple of properties that would be a good fit for this strategy. So stay tuned if you guys want to see that. Now, the most common strategy out there for living mortgage free is to simply buy a multifamily piece of property. And that's exactly the strategy I followed earlier this year. So the property I purchased is actually a main house with two different apartments and those apartments are used to offset the mortgage for the property, meaning I live for a very small amount of money compared to just going out there and buying a standalone single family house. Now there is one big problem with this strategy and that is the fact that multifamily properties can be very expensive. And if you're doing a conventional loan, for example, of 20% down, that's a lot of money you have to be putting down in order to purchase that property. So just for an example here, the property I purchased, which is a three family, cost me around $450,000. Now, if I was looking for just a single family house in the same area, it would only cost me about $275,000. So it's significantly more expensive to buy into a multifamily property and you need to have a much larger down payment. Now, the strategy that I'm going to show you is a little bit different because you're not buying a multifamily property. What you are doing is buying a house with an in-law suite or an in-law apartment. And I'm sure most of us are familiar with what these are, but if you're not, uh, oftentimes this is a type of property that is designed for somebody who's taking care of an older adult. Uh, so let's say, for example, your grandfather or your grandmother, you know, they're doing well, but they may need a little bit of help here and there. Well, that's where you would have a property like an in-law where you are living on one side and you have a smaller in-law suite for whoever you're taking care of. Well, the beauty of this type of property is that actually makes the ideal property to list on Airbnb as well, because you have your own separate living quarters, but you also have this side apartment or side suite that you can list on Airbnb that can be used to offset or in some cases pay your entire monthly mortgage payment. So just how much money can you make by listing your property on Airbnb? Well, here's an example of somebody I found in a CNBC article who made over $300,000 in just four years by listing his condo on Airbnb and then eventually purchasing a second condo and listing that property on Airbnb as well. And I was actually curious myself about the earnings potential for Airbnb. So earlier this year over the summer, I actually listed my spare bedroom on Airbnb for a month. And I was actually able to make about $1,000 in that month of listing my property on Airbnb. So if you guys want to check out that full video, I'm going to link up to that down in the description below. Uh, that's basically an in real life experience of listing my spare bedroom on Airbnb. 
All right, now let's assume that you do not have the money to go out there and purchase a multifamily property and you do not have the money to go out there and find a single family home with an attached in-law suite. Well, what is your option here for following this strategy? That is going to be to rent an apartment that allows something called subletting or allowing you to rent that apartment to somebody else while you have that lease. Now, it may be difficult to find places like this, but it's entirely possible. In fact, there is an entire group of people out there that do something called Airbnb rental arbitrage, which means they essentially rent an apartment, list that entire apartment on Airbnb, and they look to make more money from the Airbnb listing than it costs them for that rental. So it is possible to do this. But what I'm getting at here with this strategy is let's say, for example, you're looking at a one bedroom apartment that's gonna cost you $1,200 per month. Well, if you're able to get a two bedroom apartment that's gonna cost you maybe $1,500 per month, and then if you list that as a private room, on Airbnb, well now all of a sudden with that Airbnb listing, you have the potential to offset some, if not all of that rental expense by listing that room on Airbnb. And obviously it's going to depend on the location, how much you can charge. And like I said, that calculator down below will give you a good idea of the earnings potential in your area for Airbnb. But there are countless people out there who have followed this strategy. Instead of just renting a one bedroom, they'll rent a two or three bedroom apartment or house. And then they will simply rent those out as rooms to other people, or they're just going to list them on Airbnb as a short term rental for somebody looking to stay in the area for a short period of time. Now, of course, the number one thing I have to stress here is before you rent a place, make sure you talk to your landlord, tell him exactly what you're looking to do, make sure that subletting is allowed and specifically ask about Airbnb. And of course, you're going to want to consider what the laws are and the regulations in the area that you live in because certain places have different restrictions and laws surrounding Airbnb and other short-term rentals. So that being said, guys, what I wanna do now is jump into my computer. We're going to go ahead and analyze some properties that might be a good fit for either of these two strategies that we discussed. All right, guys, so here we are at my computer now, and what we are going to do is we are going to open up the random US city generator, pick one of those cities, and then we're going to look for a property on Zillow that would be a house with an attached in-law suite. And then we'll look at what the earnings potential might be if you were to list that on Airbnb, and we'll consider what the mortgage would be on that property as well. So we're gonna go ahead and go with Jacksonville, Florida uh, as the random city we're going to pick here. So the very first thing we're going to do is look for a property in Jacksonville, Florida. Now, obviously we're looking for properties for sale in Jacksonville, Florida. And what you can do here as well, if you go to the more section, you can just type in your keyword here, which is going to be in-law. And that leaves us with 84 properties for sale in Jacksonville, Florida um, that most likely have an in-law apartment attached to them. So right off the bat, this one up top here looks pretty good. As you can see from the pictures, uh, you have the main house here for sale. And I'm assuming that either this down here or this building on the side here is going to be the in-law apartment. Now this may not be the best option because it says right here, one of the bedrooms is absolutely perfect for a mother-in-law suite with its own entrance from the garage. So I don't know if this one really has a separate bathroom. It may just be a separate bedroom, which this would work for Airbnb. Uh, but if you didn't want to have somebody sharing your same bathroom, uh, that may not be the best option. So it's not a totally separate in-law. So let's go ahead and skip this one for now and keep looking. All right, so we found a property here that would most likely be a good fit for what we are looking to do. Uh, as you can see right here, it says this open concept floor plan hosts a mother-in-law or teen or guest suite complete with a private bathroom, uh, which is ultimately what you're looking for here is a uh, property that has a private bathroom. Uh, that way your guests have the ability to have their own private space within the house and you're not gonna be bumping into each other in the bathroom. And as far as the price goes, this is reasonably priced here at you know 289,000. So I wouldn't be surprised if we can get most of this mortgage covered, uh, if not be mortgage free on this property by listing that in-law suite on Airbnb. 
So first of all, let's consider what the mortgage cost would be on this property. Zillow is estimating it at $1,476 per month, and that's probably pretty accurate here. This is based on uh, conventional mortgage, 20% down, uh, and this is an interest rate of 3.83%, which is probably about average right now. So obviously you would need a good amount of money to do this. Um, but the other option that you would have here if you wanted to was to go the FHA route. But then, of course, you are putting less money down, but you would have to pay that PMI or mortgage insurance. So we're going to just keep it the way it is here uh, with putting down $57,800 or 20% down on this property, meaning your mortgage would be around $1,500 per month. And this does include $243 per month for property taxes. $100 a month for home insurance, and 50 bucks a month in HOA fees, which may or may not apply in this case. So now let's jump over to the Airbnb calculator and see how much you could potentially earn listing this private space on Airbnb. So here's the big difference here between having an entire private place and then just offering a private room. And honestly, guys, I don't know the layout of this house. I'm not sure if these people have a private entrance to the guest suite. Uh, but obviously, if you're looking to maximize your earnings potential, having a completely private space for your guests would be the best case scenario. And there are houses with in-law apartments where the in-law apartment has a completely separate kitchen, bathroom entrance, and everything like that. So this is why that's important. If you had an entire place available in Jacksonville, Florida for up to two guests, your earnings potential here is just under $1,900 per month. And as we said, the mortgage on this property would be around $1,500. So if this was a completely private space here where you were renting out the in-law suite, that could totally cover the mortgage. However, when it becomes just a private room, which is where there is still a shared entrance and some shared spaces in the home, it is going to be significantly less money because that is a less desirable property. So if you spend a lot of time researching and finding the right property, you could absolutely find a place that has a completely separate in-law suite that you could offer as an entire place on Airbnb. And it's entirely possible that that could totally cover your mortgage for this property. Or if you're just looking to offset set it, you can find a place like this, which is most likely just a private room within the house. And even in this case, you're covering, you know, half of the mortgage payment potentially just by listing that space on Airbnb. So anyways, guys, that's going to wrap up this video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you want to try out the Airbnb calculator for yourself, that's going to be down in the description below. But let me know what you guys think of this strategy. I would love to hear what you guys think in the comment section below. Uh, but thanks so much for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed this video, and I will see you in the next one.